action, the activity, the process, the procedure which happened, which occurred in our practical life, the incident which happened daily basis, this is called presenting different tests. Do you know what activity I do? Daily I come here, I teach you, you also come here, you learn, you try to feel, I go to school, I take the bath, I take the tea, I get the morning time, I sleep in the evening time, so whatever activity you do, these are percentile, percenting different things. Do you feel how much easier? Do you feel how much easier percenting different things? So whatever process, whatever activity you do, this is the presenting different things. This is the very simple, it's a piece of cake you can know, you can find. So whenever you say, I eat the food, use percent infant test. Whenever you see I get up, I go, I study, I complete and my homework. My homework, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. In the west. So universal truth, universal truth and actually percent indefinite tense it has permanent sense. It has, I am here. Today I am here. Now with you a very important vital topic. This is the tenses. So today I am going to tell a very important things. This is the tenses. How much important tenses in our life? In our life. How you have to transform, how you have to translate, how you have to manage, how you have to rearrange, how you have to speak, how you have to translate, how you have to perform, how you have to know, how you have to uh, give up your wonderful skill anywhere, especially in English language, just you know tenses. Whatever material, whatever things, whatever point we are going to express before you, here we have, we are using, we are helping definitely most of the sentences we are using here. Tenses. Do you believe? Do you believe? Do you feel? Do you realize? Please tell me. Do yes. you realize? Yes. So whatever sentences we try to put, whatever things, whatever point we are going to put here, we are using. We are yes. using tenses. This is the backbone of English. This is the backbone of English. Yes. That's why it's so very important. We must have knowledge, full command, full skill on the tenses. How to use, how to transform, how to how to translate, how to put, how to express, how to practice, how to practice. We must have knowledge about the tenses. Now we can perform, we have full knowledge, we have full confidence to speak, to perform, to try to transform ourselves in English language. This is the really important. Are you getting what I want to tell you? So today is my topic, today is my chapter is a quite vital for all us who try to speak English, who try to perform, who try to change, who try to become a wonderful speaker, there we must have, this is the compulsory more essential to know proper knowledge about the English language. Okay? Very same children, man. That's very, very important. And today is my selected topic is tenses. You know, basically we have three types of tenses. First is that, Second is that, past. past. Next is that, future. 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 Three types of tenses. These are very basic and everywhere taught, everywhere trained to us in the school, colleges, university. You know what? City. Today I want to tell you in our own languages how can we know, how can we record, how can you say, how can we notice tenses in our mind. This is the point which I want to tell you, my dear friends. So please tell me, are you ready for that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes very good. Great, you are very wonderful. You try to cooperate me. If you are trying to cooperate me, I, I get the interest, I get energy to perform, to try to support you. Right? So you are my energy, you are my dear friends, you are my brother and sister. Brother and sister, you are sitting, that's why I'm starting. That's why I'm starting. Even now, right? So tenses, what is, you know? Tenses, present, past. Future. Future. This is the question which try to understand. The three types of tenses, tenses which I want to tell you. Okay. So we must know about the tenses. I want to tell you in my own words. How can you know? How can you see? How can you translate? How can you know? Here we have to use which tenses? Present, past, future. You have to know. You have to practice more. You have to practice mm -hmm. more. Keep what kind of action also we have to use. You know each and every tenses has four action. Today, I want to tell you very detailed, very detailed about the present tense. Present tense. Yes. Present tense has four actions. First is indefinite, second is continuous, next is that perfect, and last is one perfect continuous. So present indefinite, present continuous, present perfect, present perfect continuous. Already you know, or you have knowledge about the tenses. About the tenses. Next, the point. Next, 
the point which you have to save in your mind how can you know how can you identify how can you identify which one is present indefinite which one is continuous which one is perfect which one is perfect continuous this is the important this is the because we see we observe many times many students they are making mistake to translate to transform to speak tenses tenses have you noticed i have experienced many try many try while debating while talking while putting while expressing their idea they are making mistake to translate to transform the sentences so how to arrange how to rearrange how to transport this is the very important in our life okay so you know how can you know if i talk about the present indefinite tense present indefinite yes. so it's a very simple it's a very yes. we are also living in the present tense recently we are living we are doing many activity in a day in a day we get 24 hours so whatever activity whatever process whatever action you are doing in your practical life daily basis this is actually called present indefinite tense i try to use present indefinite tense in our practical life now you can know easily you can know टेंसेस को हमें क्या करना है अपने प्रैक्टिकल लाइफ से जोड़ लेना है अगर जोड़ लेंगे तो सीखना क्या हो जाएगा आसान हो जाएगा माय डियर दिस इज द पॉइंट व्हिच आई वांट टू टेल यू सो व्हाट यूर एक्टिविटी दिस इज द वेरी सिंपल यू डू मेनी एक्टिविटी यू आल्सो डू यू आल्सो डू आई आल्सो डू मेनी एक्टिविटी डेली सो इफ यू कनेक्ट योर टेंसेस योर चैप्टर विद योर प्रैक्टिकल लाइफ यू फील यू रियलाइज दिस इज द वेरी सिंपल देयर इज नो एनी काइंड ऑफ ना देयर इज नो एनी काइंड ऑफ रीजन टू नोट टू राइट डाउन टू से नो इजीली यू कैन नो यू कैन से बिकॉज़ सेम एक्टिविटी यू आर डूइंग यू आर so this is the point which i want to tell you try to understand try to feel what i want to tell you are you getting my dear yes yes sir good <coughs> the same activity whatever you are doing in your practical life this is the very important very important this is the tenses if i define the action the activity the process the procedure which happen which occur in our practical life the incident which happen daily basis this is called present indefinite tense Do you know what activity I do daily? I come here. I teach you. You also come here. You learn. You try to feel. I go to school. I take the bath. I take the tea. I get the morning time. I sleep in the evening time. So whatever activity you do, these are percent time, percent indefinite tense. Do you feel how much easier? Do you feel how much easier percent indefinite tense? So whatever process, whatever activity you do, this is the percent indefinite tense. This is the very simple. If a piece of cake you can know, you can find. So whenever you say. I eat the food. Use present indefinite tense. Whenever you see, I get up, I go, I study, I complete my homework. My homework. The sun rises in the east and sets in the west. In the west. So universal truth, universal truth, and actually present indefinite tense. It has permanent sense. It has. So do you feel what I want to tell you? This is the very simple. You know why I am explaining well? Because this is very simple. This is very simple. simple. So how can you know? This is the present indefinite tense. This is the very easier to know to have because each and every time, each and every moment, we use present indefinite tense. This is the present indefinite tense. Many activity and the things. The point which I want to tell you, present indefinite tense has a a limited point to explain it. It's a very useful, my dear friends. It is more important than the other tense or the other chapter. How I have no much more time, that's why I could not explain everything. But some more important point I try to put here. Present indefinite tense has permanent sense. You know permanent sense. If I give you one example, this is the very simple, very common example. You listen. You got many try, many try. I like you. I love you. I. Yeah. Do you know why I am saying that I love? Have you listened many try? I am loving you. I am loving you. No, because I am loving you. This is continuous tense. Continuous tense has non-permanent sense. Non. So if you are saying I am loving you, it means that you are cheating. You are cheating. 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 That's why I always say that I love you. It has permanent sense. If I say that I love my parents, I love my family, I love my mother, I love my father, I love my friend, I love my friends. This is person. I can't say that I am loving. I am loving. No, this is the incorrect. Because present indefinite tense जो होता है उसमें permanent का sense उसमें हमेशा हमेशा का daily का क्या होता है sense पाया जाता है जो काम हमेशा होता है अगर मुझे कहने अपनी country से मैं प्यार करता हूँ तो I love my country कहूँगा ना कि I am loving. I am loving कहोगे तो जैसे मैं अभी आपको पढ़ा रहा हूँ I am teaching कहूँगा तो teaching आज ना कल खत्म हो जाएगी लेकिन I teach you में हमेशा हमेशा क्या होता है sense पाया जाता है तो this is the very great point which you have to notice in your mind in your mind 
And that's why. Do not say that I love you. I am loving you. You have to say I. If a person is say that I like you, I like the rose gulab. मैं रोज क्या करता हूँ पसंद करता हूँ उसमें भी ये नहीं कहा जाएगा आई एम लाइकिंग मैं पसंद कर रहा हूँ रोज को नहीं रोज जो आपने पसंद कर लिया एक कलर वो हमेशा पसंद रहेगा ऐसा नहीं बदलता रहेगा भाई जो पागल रहेगा उसके यहाँ बदलता है कभी उसको कभी उसको कभी उसको कभी मिर्च में क्या क्या पसंद है खाएगा है तो उसमें क्या होता है ना सेंस होता है परमानेंट में क्या करना है आपको ऐसा नहीं आपकी जो च्वाइस होती है आपकी जो एक्सप्रेशन होता है वो सारी चीजें प्रेजेंट इन डिफरेंट टेंस में क्या होती है एक्सप्लेन होती है बहुत डीप में मैं नहीं जा रहा हूँ बिकॉज दिस इज दिस इज दूर स्पोकन क्लासेज That's why I try to put a point. This is the percent in different tense. This is the percent your daily routine, daily activity, daily procedure, daily process. This is actually covered under the percent in different tense. Do you do you understand? Yes. Please tell me. Do you understand? Yes. yes well, sir. you can explain. Yes. yes you sir. have to explain better than me because you have wonderful mind. You have wonderful and sharp mind. You are young. You are young. You are better than me. You are better than me. To so try to come here and try to perform better than me. Next is that percent continuous tense. Percent. If I move, if I Move percent continuous tense. How can I explain continuous? This is also very useful. Very useful. useful. I am very very crystal example. Very crystal example is that I am teaching you this process. This activity is running, going on, continue. This is percent in different tense. So the activity, the action, the procedure, the process, the activity which continue, which continue in your life. This is actually percent continuous tense. It might be that you are coming here. I am teaching you. My teaching action is going on. Some people they are going. Some people they are driving. Some are driving. Some are selling. Some are purchasing. Some are sleeping. Some are right now cooking the food. Some are writing. Some are laughing. Some are watching. Many people they are busy in their process. They are doing many kind of activity in this universe. Recently, this is actually called present continuous tense. Present continuous tense. So what activity you look is continuous. Continue is running, is happening before your eyes. This is called a percent continuous tense. You saw the person, uh, a person. He is going. He is driving the bike. I see. I see many people that are speaking. You see. You see. I am teaching you. I am reading you. I am speaking you. My my work, my activity is continue. This is actually called percent continuous tense. Percent. एक है प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यू जो एक्टिविटी आपके सामने जारी है आप देख रहे हो रहा है बहुत सारे काम बहुत सारे काम क्या जारी है कोई कहीं बिजी है कोई कुछ कर रहा है कोई कुछ कर रहा है सम पीपल दे आर डूइंग वेरियस काइंड ऑफ एक्टिविटी डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ एक्टिविटी दे आर बिजी इन देयर प्रोसेस एक्चुअली दिस इज कॉल्ड प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूअस प्रेजेंट दिस इज द वेरी सिंपल वेरी सिंपल दिस इज द कंटिन्यू And next is that's a very vital for us. This is the very useful because whatever activity we continue, we going on, we now running, happening right in front of our eyes, before our eyes. After that, this activity, I'm sure one day will be finished, will be complete. This world is also right, mortal, yeah, immortal. Mortal. One day we have to right now. We have to go from this world to the another world to the. So one day this world will be finished. One day this world will be stopped. One day our activity will be stopped. Will be complete. Will be finished. This is actually called present perfect continuous tense. Present perfect tense. Perfect means the work is completed. The activity is completed. This is called actually present perfect tense. This activity. Right. So the the tenses which I want to tell you this is the present perfect tense. Present. One day we will complete. One day we will complete our process. Our process. Our Procedure, our activity, whatever you do, you are coming here. One day you can complete. You can complete your process. You are learning. You want to become a doctor. One day you can become. You want to learn. You want to earn. You want to. You want to earn. You want to receive. You want to get. It might be that one day you can get. You can acquire completely, totally. This is actually called percent perfectness. Percent. So you are coming here. Just I, I can say that right now. I have taught you. I have. I have completed percent tense. I have completed. I have done ten plus two. Ten plus. Two. I have done two debate. I have won the. I have won the debate. I have won the debate. I have purchased a phone. I have purchased a the activity which complete, which finish, which end. This actually called present perfect tense. Present perfect tense. Present. I have completed seven class. I have completed my homework, my chapter, my chapter. This activity is called present perfect tense. Present. Perfect. So the activity which completed, the activity which done, which finish. This is called present continuous present perfect tense. Present. Perfect. This is also very simple. This is also very simple. This time, whatever activity is running, going on after some minutes, after some hours, it might be that some days, some years, they will finish. They will finish. They will stop. They will end. This is called present perfect. Present. Perfect. 
Next is that is also very useful, more essential in our life. In our life, because it's, an, it's also very important. If I talk about the present perfect continuous tense, the action, the activity, the uh, procedure which is started in the past, in the past, wow. is still continue, is still running, is still going on, this is actually present perfect tense. Present? Perfect. Many work, many process, we start in the past, it still be continue. I have very example right in front of your eyes, before your eyes. Just like you have come, you have been coming here for two months. You have been learning English for two months. You have been coming here for two months. You have been, you have, you have been started any process last two months, last two years, last one day, one day, two days, one week. This is actually called present perfect tense. Present? So that is uh, present perfect continuous tense. Very good. I am missing. Okay, so the activity we start in the past is still continue, is still carry on, is still going on. This is present perfect continuous tense. Very simple, we try to understand. So four types of action actually we are applying, we are doing, we are doing, we are using, we are using. When we are going to speak, when we are going to do any activity, we use only four types of action. Four types of action. This is very simple, we try to know in our practical life, we try to know, we try to connect in our practical life. When, when, how we are using actually this kind of action, this kind of activity this kind of process these are called percent these are called percent perfect these are four tenses four action this is the very important in our life please tell me are you getting yes, yes, understanding yes, what is yes, how much easier how much simple how can you explain how can you know how can you tell in a detail now next this is the this is the uh, this is the some information about the tenses now the work the activity the reality the reality the actuality which you have to do you have to practice more you have to practice more you have to translate you have to transmit you have to practice you have to write you have to speak in front in front of the people anywhere when you speak when you talk when you debate when you debate when you join when you try to speak each and every time you try to use in your practical life now you can you are able to have to transform completely totally no totally in english language these tenses these tenses so please try to learn please try to practice please try to use please try to speak please try to use please try to feel please try to realize these kind of tenses how much important in your life in your life this is the quite important. You have to apply in your practical life. You have to amal, apko kaam karna. You have to action. If you listen, this is also good. If you listen, if you see, if you watch, this is also important. But more important is that you have to apply in your practical life. This is the more important. This is the more important. important. If you listen, if you are not going for practice. If you listen, if you watch, you are not going practice. So you cannot have complete knowledge about the tension, about the so you have to speak, you have to speak, speak. tenses ko kya hai, bolna hai, I go to school, my school ja ta my school ja raho, my a raho, my ja raho, my kha raho, my kha raho, kha juga, or try karna hai, sentence ko, tenses ko, apni practical life se kya karna hai, use karna na hai, mene aapko kya kya bata rakha hai, kaisi aapko doctor banna hai, ki I want to become a doctor, this is also present in the flat, so please, this is the tenses you try to know, you try to learn, you try to learn, you try to apply in your practical life. If you want to develop, if you want to groom, if you want to groom, if you want to boost, if you want to enhance your power of speaking, power of English, becoming public speaker, whatever you want, actually you can do by having full confidence. So please tell me, are you ready for that? Yes, are you yes ready sir. To apply? Are yes, you ready sir. to learn? Are you ready to feel? Yes, Realize? sir. So now you have to come one by one here in front of the camera, in front of the people, publicly, you try to put in your own words, how can you explain tenses in your language, in your life. Who want to come here first, please press hands. Someone. Who want to come? Right. You have to come here, you have to come here, try to put your opinion about the present indefinite tense, tenses, well, how can you explain? Who want to come? Kuch samajh mein aaya, kya bataya? Bade kitane log kuch samajh mein aaya? Sab ko samajh mein aaya? Hey, please press your hand. Hello friends, good morning everyone. Come cool here. I right you have to feel I am better than Hafiz. I am Hafiz, right? No? <laughs> now you have to feel like that you have to right put your opinion, okay? Hello friends, good morning everyone. And today is our practice class and here we are. Okay, I'm going to say Hindi chan di jit. Today is practice class and here we are present here for practice tense you know guys there are three types of tenses like first present and second past and future you know there are three tenses is most important in our life 
you know how much important in our life three tenses firstly i want to explain about present tense deeply you know guys in present tense they have uh, there are four action and first present indefinite tense present continuous and present perfect present perfect continuous